Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is JP. I'm you know hungry, you just don't know it yet. Hey. <laughs> and if you're returning, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, October the 4th. Happy Wednesday. Mm, 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 mm. It is 12:15. Your girl is picking y'all up hella late considering that I am working from home. I normally pick you guys up a lot sooner, uh, but your girl has been working. Work has been uh, a lot more busy than it usually is on Wednesdays when I'm working from home. Um, I also took breaks uh, from working to edit a video for you guys. It's currently exporting an iMovie. Um, I'm also washing and drying clothes because today is laundry day. And I went out into my gardening area uh, when we had a break in the rain because y'all, it's been raining all day long. I ain't complaining. I've said time and time again here as of recently that we really, really need rain here where I am in Texas. So I'm by no means complaining, but it has been a very dreary, gloomy and rainy day. When we did get a break in the rain, I skedaddled to the front of my house to clean up my gardening area because my plants, the purple ones specifically, were growing out of control. I mean, they were growing so much so that they began to touch each other and like they're sporadically placed, but they were like growing out and touching each other. So I had to get out there and get that under control. Thank God it never rained or didn't rain while I was out there. So I was able to quickly uh, cut them, you know, kind of shape them up to uh, the best of my ability and get rid of all of the excess. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have been doing. I do need to head out really quickly because again, it, it's been raining on and off. We're in for um, a heavier amount of rain in about an hour or so. Uh, I do need to go to the grocery store to pick up some ingredients to make nachos. I just had a taste for it. I ran that idea by Bay and Zay and they was both down for it. So I'm gonna cook that, that way it can be ready when they get here or when they're hungry. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna get in, get out. Today is also wash day too. Um, I think I'm gonna do a wash and go or a twist. I know I need to give the ponytails a break. I said that either in this vlog or the one previously, so I'm not gonna go into that, but just know I'm either going to do a wash and go or a twist. And I'm also going to work out as well. I was gonna go to the gym, uh, but child, mm -mm, Aunt Flo was here, okay? And I already don't want to work out to begin with. And I just can't see myself taking my cramps with me to the gym because I don't really feel good, y'all. But I am pushing through to get things done. I haven't had my Celsius today, but I have it here. This is the Arctic Vibes Sparkling Frozen Berry Edition. If you've never seen this one before, cheers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Paris or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci? No. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you were alone. All I ever asked was you to show me some love kisses. No, I never had an issue. Go to the club with your boys, baby. Something about your hands on my body feels better than. Any man I ever been Something about the way you just give me Trying not to know cause I can't forget Give oh, a long, leave it I don't want no drip, baby, spray it like you mean it So fine, it's like it, baby, jump up on this I guess that's why you like it, baby, come and get this Takes a lot to his time, it, baby, give it all the time but I guess things change. It's funny how someone else's success brings pain when you're no longer involved. That person has it all, and you just stuck standing there. But I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. Say something, baby. Say something. Say something. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. All of this love. 
Here are the items that I picked up from the grocery store, starting with this ground beef for tonight's dinner, which is nachos. I also picked up a sweet potato pie. I've bought sweet potato pie from the grocery store before this particular grocery store, but I didn't get a chance to eat it. However, the family function that I took it to, literally there was none left, y'all. Everybody said that it was good. So number one, I'm hoping it's the same brand that I bought last time because I can't remember. And number two, I'm hoping it's delicious, so I'll keep you guys posted. I also decided to try this pizza for the first time, Screaming Sicilian, Sicilian, I don't know, y'all see it. But anyway, um, I decided to uh, try this pizza. I'm going to pop it in the oven and give it a try while my nachos are cooking or while my ground beef is cooking for my nachos. I also picked up a few bags of these Signature Select restaurant style tortilla chips, three bags to be exact. I got some more of Zay's favorite Doritos. Three of these Tostinos salsa con queso cheese. I like to use this cheese in my nachos. I also got a uh, bag of nacho cheese or nacho blend cheese with jalapeno peppers as a topper for tonight's nachos. Child, because it's that time of the month, I saw this tres leche cake and decided to give it a try as well. I don't need both. Baby, what is I'm um, doing? Somebody should have stopped me. Anyway, and I was on the phone with my cousin. Hey, Nasha girl. And she saw me in that doggone uh, cakes department and ain't tell me a thing when I told her what I was doing. So we going to hold her just as accountable y'all as y'all should be holding me for buying both of these desserts. Because, baby, I don't have no business. I don't have no business. But anywho, we also were running low on Eggos. So I decided to pick up this 24-pack of buttermilks. I also wanted to get some diced jalapenos again for tonight's dinner and some syrup because we were running low and these are the items that i picked up from the grocery store good afternoon please excuse child i had a head on earlier and it's wash day we just gonna leave it right there it is 2 51 i ate that pizza i didn't eat the whole pizza i put my leftovers in the uh microwave but y'all that pizza was freaking bomb and i'll definitely be trying it again um i also tried that thres leche cake Now, granted, I didn't need the sweet potato pie and the thresh leche cake, but after tasting the thresh leche cake, I ain't even mad I picked it up. It is so freaking good. I, child, I got to hide it. I got to hide it. I got to hide it because I'm going to eat it. Thankfully, it's just a small little piece, but if I finish that cake before the day is over with y'all, I can't touch this pie for at least two days. So we're going to have to stick that pie in the refrigerator because I don't want it to mold uh, or go bad sitting on the countertop but that's just a little update on the pizza and the thrust leche cake uh i also forgot to show you guys that i picked up the cvs brand of ultra thin pads while i was at cvs y'all saw uh the deal that i got on these i didn't have a lot of incentives i just got um uh, some cash back off of my purchase i think that was like 32 cents and then i had um another manufacturer coupon for a cvs branded product and this is a cvs branded product which took these pads down to five dollars even so i was super excited about that i would show y'all my receipt but in my thirst right to uh scan my randall's receipt into fetch for whatever reason i guess they have some sort of partnership i get a lot of points or fetch gives a lot of points for randall's receipts so I love when I go to Randall's, um, you know, to get my receipt back so I can scan it for fetch. But anyway, so I said all that to say I threw away my receipt for CVS along with my receipt for Randall's after I scanned them. So I can't show y'all my receipt. But at this point, I mean, my track record speak for itself. Y'all know I be on the deals at CVS. That's why they need me out the way what you expect. Got a lot of blood and it's cold. They keep trying to get me for my soul. Thankful for the women that I know.
you guys my workout is done it is 329 we did about a little over 30 minutes on the treadmill oh child the sweat is pouring down i'm going to um rest a little bit cool down rather a little bit before i hop in the shower and start my wash day process i just wanted to tap in with you guys we did it i did it I push through because Lord knows I want to be in my bed, especially because it is still very gloomy outside. It's still raining. I'm looking out of my window um, if you see me looking away from the camera. But yeah, y'all, definitely much needed and I'm glad I did it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What is up, you guys? It is 936. Your girl has a do-rag on. For this week's wash routine, I did install some mini twists. When I tell y'all I am exhausted, I'm freaking exhausted. I started my hair, <clears throat> excuse me, shortly after I put you guys down, which I believe was a little bit before five o'clock or right shortly after five o'clock. And I didn't finish with my hair until shortly before nine o'clock. It took a couple hours for the entire process, y'all. And I'm exhausted. My hands hurt from the continual motion of me twisting my hair. My knees hurt from standing up. If you hear noise in the background, that's my dryer. And Bay is also in the bedroom watching TV very loudly. Okay. Um, after I put the deep conditioner on my hair, I did make my nachos. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me those nachos were chef's kiss so freaking good y'all and the jalapenos just took it to a whole nother level i snacked a little bit um while i was twisting my hair each section y'all know i break my hair into fours <clears throat> excuse me so eat with each section that i complete i would take a small break very small break like less than five minute break um and i would come in here grab a couple chips dip it in the um in the queso and then going on about my business i didn't have an opportunity to like fully eat until after i finished my hair so i ate a little on the later side today but y'all i was starving and the nachos turned out so freaking good um i've also cleaned my kitchen i have some incense going so if you see some smoke in this vicinity that's what that is and i know i told y'all if i ate that threads leche cake that i was not going to touch that sweet potato pie but number one sis finished that threads leche cake okay i didn't eat it all by myself they came home he tried it he really liked it he came i said did you try did you see i bought a threads leche cake and he said yeah i seen it i tried it i was like oh, okay you know not thinking nothing of it child when i went back to my cake like a large chunk of it was gone and that's when i said to myself you know what go ahead and finish off this threat let jk because if you leave it in here for another couple hours it is gonna be gone husband is gonna eat it and you're gonna be real mad at yourself that you didn't indulge a little bit more in that cake so me and husband finish off the threat let a piece of cake that i got from the grocery store and then after i ate the nachos that pie was staring at me okay i couldn't self-control wear we just didn't have any so i cut a very small piece very small piece and i paired it with some whipped cream that we got from sam's club a hot little minute ago but it's still good because i checked the expiration date it doesn't expire until november 30th and i didn't even know that whipped cream lasts that long hell ready whip don't last that long so i'm definitely gonna start tapping into sam's uh whipped cream because baby that's a long time i don't know what the hell they put up in there for <laughs> to last that long but i ain't gonna argue with the expiration date okay it is it it says what it says but anywho i paired it with that uh sweet potato pie y'all that pie was so good that pie was so good i let Bay taste some of mine and he was like can you cut me a slice so i cut him a small slice like i cut myself and when i brought it to him in the room he was like dang this is a very small piece i was like sir we don't need all that you trying to do too much take <laughs> You trying to go a mile, I just gave you a little inch. We already ain't supposed to be eating this pie at all. And then we gonna add whipped cream on top of it? No, sir. We <laughs> You taking my gym body like 10 steps back. For now, your girl is going to hop on into bed after she brushes her teeth and get some rest. And I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Take my chances,
at Papa's Barbecue. Um, late, well, not I was about to say late as hell, not late as hell, but definitely, um, really late because traffic was absolutely terrible. I mean, good morning, thank you. Traffic was terrible. Um, the commute was so freaking rough this morning, y'all. I just really feel like <laughs> this morning was really just designed to steal my joy for the day. And I ain't gonna let it. That's why I stopped at Papa's Barbecue, even though I'm late, to give me a little pick-me-up. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Baby, they gave me the biggest bag they could find for this little itty bitty taco child, but it's okay. It is okay, and it smells wonderful. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But anywho, like I was saying, y'all, the traffic and commute into the office today has been absolutely terrible. I started out on the regular people side of the freeway, um, and of course, we started experiencing congestion, backups. Um, so I hopped on the rich people side, the tollway side, and as soon as I got on the freeway, y'all, we were at a standstill. Now, I don't get as aggravated when I'm at a standstill on the regular people's side, because that's free. But when I'm paying to sit in a parking lot, because that's what it feels like when the dog on tollway is stalled, man, that's a different type of aggravation, okay? That is a different type of aggravation. And then to not see a stalled vehicle, to not see a wreck, just adds to the aggravation because if i saw either one of those things not that i'm wishing that upon anybody but if you see one of those things you know it it helps you to understand the situation better okay it was a wreck it was a stall you know the police pulled somebody over you know that's why dot 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 but baby when you don't see that and it's still 50 11 cars just sitting there barely moving who lord we just gonna pray it away okay we just gonna pray the negative vibes that the, the commute in to work has poured upon me and we just gonna pray for a good day i'm going to thoroughly enjoy my beef or brisket breakfast taco what is you doing baby is you going oh lord see this is what i'm talking about y'all this, this is huh? who father god yeah y'all it is just one of them days and i really started out good it's 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 really the people around me it's really the traffic it's the darn metro buses it's just <laughs> Woo! i pray y'all have a good day i pray y'all are having a better start to your day than i am good afternoon fam it is 1 25 we are on lunch and headed to grab something to eat i don't know if i want chick-fil-a panda express taco bell i don't know I don't know. I'm probably likely gonna end up <laughs> at Chick-fil-A, but I kind of have a taste for them other places. I really, Chick-fil-A really be having me come back, especially during my lunch hour, because I really be wanting potatoes. I want french fries. And Taco Bell took them doggone um, nacho fries off the menu for whatever reason. I don't know why. Taco Bell has got to be the only fast food chain that don't listen to their customers. Like, why would y'all take off the most popular item on your menu? I mean, th that's a personal opinion, obviously, but I'm just saying they've done it so many times and it is so aggravating. That's why I'm so off and on with Taco Bell because they just can't get it together. And until they do, I can't just, I, I cannot commit to being a regular customer. Chicken sandwich with American cheese, please, the combo. Of course, uh, Arnold Palmer. And can you make the combo large, please? Of course. And that'll be all. Uh, Husband has agreed to barbecue this Friday. Super, super excited and turned up about that. So tomorrow morning, um, I'm gonna go to Sam's maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna check Sam's prices. We might end up going to another store too because I'm all about trying to save a coin and I don't wanna buy an expensive pack of meat. So I'm gonna get online and check and see uh, what the prices are. I'd like to get uh, just a small pack of thighs, some legs and some um, chicken wings and chicken tenders. It's, it's just for me and the fam, but 
we all like different things. They say don't eat meat on the bone. Y'all know that if you're not new here. Uh, I appreciate a good thigh, okay? And then my husband uh, likes pretty much all parts of the chicken except for the breast. I don't think anybody likes the breast in my household. It's just, it's just too dry and too tough. But anyway, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I also talked to Toy. Y'all know Toy. Right, homegirl. Uh, talked to her. She and I uh, are supposed to go to our church. We have another feast this Saturday, actually the last feast of the feast season, uh, which is the eighth day feast. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You too. So I'm super excited about that. I said all that to say, um, she and I are both unavailable to work the feast um on saturday so we decided that we would um come together on friday and just make sure everything is set up and ready to go for the individuals that are going to work the feast and what i mean by working the feast you know you have to have your servers that are serving the food and so on and so forth so we want to make sure everything is set up for them to uh be able to facilitate the people's oh we're off monday i think i told y'all that before but <laughs> because i'm so so excited i'm gonna say it again we're off on monday and i'll probably use either that sunday or that monday to hang out with mom my mom and my sister love to take drives that's just a fun fact about them it could be a long drive short drive child road trip they're always in louisiana they're always in louisiana across the state line uh at a casino my mom and her sisters love freaking casinos child love them i darn near grew up casino hopping as much as i could because they don't all have um like little daycare centers and stuff like that but baby my little sister she definitely know about them little daycare centers at the, <laughs> at the casinos because baby when i tell you my mama was taking her yeah she was most definitely taking her to them casinos but anywho i uh told them the last time that we spoke uh that i'd like to you know just go for a ride hang out chit chat chill um even if we don't get out somewhere just go just go for a ride look at new scenery and just hang out so we're gonna put that on the agenda for sunday possible monday i'd like to do it sunday though uh just so that i can have my monday totally to myself um so i can relax and get my mind ready for you know the following work week so i'll keep you guys posted uh on where we decide to go my mama and my sister's favorite little spot to go to quick little turnaround spot fun fact is galveston and they love to go to uh i think it's called papa's pizza they love that spot they don't even eat pizza like that but they love that spot and i actually put them on to it i found out about papa's pizza on me and my husband's first staycation together so obviously this was in our dating phase many 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 years ago uh, i want to say maybe about 10 years ago and that's how long papa's pizza has been in existence i mean it literally is freaking delicious but anywho we ate there one night uh on our staycation in galveston and we've been uh, returning customers ever since me and my husband don't ride down there too much because he ain't really into just hopping in the car and going for long drives just for something to eat he's a you know what i mean i'll eat local kind of guy i ain't trying to be up in the car that long kind of guy <laughs> but my mom and my sister is always down to ride so that may be where we end up going but like i said i'll keep you guys posted on what we do with mom in asia We have made it. Okay, let's get into this food because the girl is starving. Let me put my receipt down there for a fetch. I have some ketchup. My fries. Snag one of these. Mm -hmm. a sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's real good. That got a little kick to it. 
what's up y'all it is two o'clock i have finished eating completely smashed on that dog on uh chick-fil-a there was a lot of gristle I, I think that's the right word uh in my chicken sandwich so i didn't finish that but i did um eat most of it and then of course i ate my fries and i pretty much have all of my drink left now i'm gonna get a little bit of editing done good afternoon fam it is 5 32 and you already know the vibes we are off of work i've been off of work for a hot little minute um i just got off the phone with my mom and my sister and baby when i tell you i know them like i really know them and <laughs> know their patterns so for those of you who are concerned because a couple vlogs ago i did tell y'all that my mom had a small procedure and that she was fine she is fine she's okay thank you all so much uh, who left comments of thoughts and prayers for my mother i wholeheartedly appreciate it and so does she uh and again she is fine um she was just catching up with me uh and my little sister as well telling me some of the things that she has going on um and she was uh asking what i wanted to do next time we come together and i was like well i don't have any like specific plans and my good sis <laughs> she was like well let's go to galveston and go to that pizza restaurant didn't i tell y'all this morning didn't i tell y'all i know them didn't i tell y'all they love that pizza like they really do so the plan uh as of now for this sunday weather uh permitted because i mean she don't want to drive down there i mean i'm a drive but she don't want to go down there if it's raining and neither do i to be honest with you i'll keep you guys posted on whether or not we go but that is on the itinerary for sunday uh work was really good i ended up having to take a break around 3 45 4 o'clock to catalog some more boxes uh to be shipped off uh to a facility for storage so that kind of made my afternoon the latter part of my afternoon at work speed by pretty quickly because i was up and moving around and you know cataloging boxes and documents and stuff like that so overall i had a pretty good thursday in the office so happy to be off and to also be off on uh monday four day weekend be please and thank you Gosh, I need a break. Oh, can I add cheese on both, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, anything else for you today? Yes. Let me also have um, two McDoubles, no onions. What is up, y'all? Your girl has made it to the crib safe and sound put my backpack down okay so why did i stop at mcdonald's i have the bag here as you can see i stopped at mcdonald's because them guys the guys i live with you know my husband and my son right they ate up all them nachos y'all all them nachos and i cooked yesterday the day before that and i believe the day before that i wasn't even about to get in the cook in the kitchen today i don't have time I picked a struggle. The struggle I picked was working out. Cooking didn't make the cut. So here I am with my McDonald's. Um, if you hear a couple concerts in the background, I apologize. Husband and son are both here. He jamming from upstairs. He jamming, <laughs> he jamming to the side of me. Y'all, this is my life, okay? Literally my life. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands really quickly so that I can show you the new item that I got from McDonald's. So we don't do germs on this side of town. Okay, so what I got myself was a McDouble with some fries. I'm gonna get my fries out. Uh, McDonald's has two new sauces, y'all, that I'm super excited to try with you guys. So the first sauce is a mambo sauce. Mm, okay, then. And second is a sweet and spicy jam. They gave me a couple to try. Okay, this is my burger. I'm going to set the rest of the food off to the side because that's for husband and babe. And we're gonna try both of the um, both of the sauces. This is my burger. Ooh, this is just the way I like it, y'all. The way the <laughs> cheese is melted to God be the glory. All right, first things first, we're gonna try this sweet and spicy jam. 
sugar, corn syrup, water, apple cider vinegar. I probably shouldn't have read these ingredients, y'all, because now I don't want to try it just because it say apple cider vinegar. It kind of smells like apple cider vinegar. This is what it looks like. It is a little thicky thick. Ooh, it got to be jammed because jelly don't shake like that, child. <laughs> I couldn't resist y'all. Okay, so let's try this sweet and spicy jam. Get us a couple fries. It's thick, y'all. Oh, look at that. Like it is very thick and sticky. You know what? That's really good. It reminds me of the um sweet and sweet and sour sauce from uh Wendy's. Mmm. It's giving me a little Asian inspired, a little Thai inspired, so I love that. Next up, let me not even read the ingredients. I'm not. Okay, so this is the mamba. This one kind of smells like the other sauce. Okay, get a fry. This one is more of like a looser texture, a looser consistency, and it kind of is giving me barbecue sauce vibes visually mm -mm. no ma'am no ma'am that's like barbecue sauce ketchup and hot sauce mixed together and i know i'm in my hot girl era right now but y'all don't really like that let me try it again it kind of tastes like tabasco sauce like tabasco barbecue sauce mm. let me <clears throat> It got a little kick though. I ain't even finna cap to you. <clears throat> Let me try it with my burger. Cause it's not really giving with them fries. I probably shouldn't have put that much on it cause it does have a little kick. <clears throat> Hold on oh, y'all. Not me about to take myself out trying these sauces for y'all. Mm. It's okay. I bet it would taste good on some chicken nuggets. But on these fries, mm, with my burger, mm. but if you do try this mamba sauce, be warm. It does have a little bit of kick to it. This by far is my favorite of the two, the sweet and spicy jam. I really, really like it. We are done with our workout. We did 50 minutes and 41 seconds. Y'all, I am exhausted. I purposely beat myself up with the cardio because sis not only had Chick-fil-A today, she also had McDonald's. I mean, I ain't ashamed, but just know that sis is trying to balance things out in her mind uh, by going hard on the physical activity when I um, have a lot of fast food or a lot of food that isn't necessarily healthy, right? So I feel good. I feel like a limp noodle, y'all. I just want to curl up on the floor, even though that would be nasty as hell because I look like a little boy. I smell like a big boy, but shout out to my eyebrows. If you have heard me talk about my brows time and time again and thought to yourself, mm, I hear you, but I'm not ready to invest in that pencil that you be talking about for your brows. This is your sign. I'm drenched everywhere. I'm drenched. But the brows, they don't move. They're not going nowhere. And I've wiped. I mean, now mind you, if I just go like this, of course, it's going to smudge because it's heavily saturated with my sweat, right? However, y'all, I'm dripping, sorry. However, as long as you don't keep your hands in your face or keep your hands away from this region right here, 
if you just hit one of these and one of these, you'll be fine. Summertime fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smudge wear. Like, go ahead on and get you one. They sell them at CVS. But anywho, just wanted to tap in with y'all and let y'all know that I had a fantastic workout. Hey fam, it is almost 11 o'clock. Your girl is so fresh, so clean, and I am calling it a day. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in this vlog. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If this is your first time seeing my face, don't leave a stranger. Hit that subscribe button to join the fam and hit that post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.